I just knew something was wrong. And my mom's a nurse, so she had said quite a few times, you know, he's pale, he's tired, he's falling asleep randomly. But it was really when he came home from school and said that um, he just sat on the bench at recess that day and he didn't have the energy to play. That was when I knew, okay, he needs to go in right away. It was a shock. It was crazy. He started off in the hospital for 10 days, getting all the chemo and, and lots of blood transfusions. Then it was back home with lots of steroids. When September started, then he started the heavier dose of treatment. They called it reintensification. Then when that was done, finally he got to start maintenance. Three years of chemo every day, orally, and then once a month he gets steroids, and then once every three months the spinal tap. My wish was to be a World War II pilot stationed in Pearl Harbor that gets shot down and has to survive on a deserted island with the supplies that a World War II pilot would have. Carl went to have training at Joint Base Fort Lewis McCord and they put him in a flight simulator and they taught him how to make shelter and how to build a fire. And he came back from that initial training and he said, Mom, this was a nine out of 10 and if this was my wish already, I, I would be totally okay with it. And so then we went to Hawaii. My wish started by uh, flying into Hawaii. We get off the plane and there's Marines lined up outside. Everybody was in character, and it was like we had walked into a completely different time. We take the trip through Honolulu to get to the USS Battleship Missouri, and we, we got there, we got full uniforms, and a lot of the gear was true World War II. We had the access to the whole ship, so that night we, we went through every nook and cranny of the USS Missouri. And there was a flag ceremony, and they honored Carl with a a flag, but they, they didn't just give them a flag, you know, they, they took the colors down from the USS Missouri and they did a flag presentation, and just wow. We got to spend the night in the racks and all the Marines in his unit, they all slept right there. Then we get up, they uh, bring us to an airport and there waiting for us is a World War II Stearman biplane and me and the pilot of the plane fly across Hawaii. The major kind of looks at me and says, you know, what are your thoughts on Carl flying upside down? I said, I think it's great. He's like, well, good, because they're gonna and they're already in the air. <laughs> we can't talk to them. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, on the way back from the, the flight, the, the pilot did a great job of, you know, sputtering out the plane and they were way up there and he tumbled down with no power and, and actually landed. And it, it, it was a crash landing. Uh, right away, Someone blindfolds me, puts me in a car. Our plane had crashed, uh, and all our gear was scattered out all over. We built a fire, and uh, we cut the parachute and the paracord out to make our shelter. And all of a sudden, these guys came out of the water, and we were kind of both a little bit scared, and it was a, a Navy SEAL team. They caught some fish for us that we barbecued up, and uh, they went on a mission. We joined forces with them and went down to the enemy camp and captured the enemy. The Navy SEALs asked Carl if he wanted to become a Navy diver. Carl said yes and they, they put him through the test. They had him run a mile down the beach. They had him doing push-ups. They had him doing sit-ups and all kinds of things and he was wiped out. So then they pinned him with a, a Navy diver pin and a belt buckle. It was a, just a fantastic moment. At the end of his wish, they had a little wish party and everyone that had been involved in his wish came and celebrated with us. And it was overwhelming mm -hmm. to look around and see the number of people that were loving on our son. Everything that people did for me was special. It, it gave us something to look forward to mm -hmm. and, and it was a planned time for our family to to get together as a unit and grow. It really makes a difference um, in anybody who's going through a life-threatening illness and gives you something to work towards uh, and to look forward to and to think about versus just sitting there in pain. 
The whole survivor theme was really mm -hmm. interesting to us that he picked this wish that was about surviving in a completely different way than, you know, surviving a diagnosis of leukemia. So he's a survivor in so many ways.